Hello and welcome to the next video in our section on um, church etc. I'm going to look at a business called Read. Read is for many people uh, they remember the fact that it is an agency as well as a business in the sense of recruitment and training. So looking at the website itself what do we have as information from the website? Well, it quite clearly indicates the number of uh, positions that are available, being advertised. And there's quite a few. Uh, we have 11,000 in the graduate role. We have 14,000 in management executive, 17,000 in accountancy area, and we have training 618. It really depends on what area that you're actually looking for. So let's say, for example, that you're looking at something in customer services. On the left hand side here we see the customer services issue or category and we can see um, we want to be a customer services administrator maybe so let's make sure that this is correct um, and let's make sure that as we do it we um, I'm going to put in a postcode and I am going to say that I want it within 20 miles. So we can go from that and we can look at the salary or we can look again at the monthly and it depends. Uh, unlike some of the other sites, there's a variety of weekly, daily, and per hour. Um, not all sites have that. If you looked at the other videos, you'll be aware of that. I'm going to go for 15,000 to. Well, that would be a very good money, wouldn't it? 15,000, let's go to per annum. 2, 17, 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to search that. Now, we've already said that there's a whole variety, um, but not all the time do you get the information that you're after. You can sometimes have to look around a little bit further, so I shall go back and see what else there is available in this particular category. We know that this customer service was available, so at 5,193, this should be one or two jobs. One of the things you have to take into consideration here is there's a number of different companies actually working or using this particular service, and you've got a selection here. <coughs> you've also got a collection of representatives and featured jobs. You've got company searches, job references, and advanced searches, etc., and a free CV review. Now that's interesting because a number of people may well find that in information is of, of use to them. We looked at the customer service assistant and the advisor. You'll note there's 1,859 there. That's the highest of that particular group at 1,859. And we've got the various different areas that we might be interested in working in. Now I'm recording this in the East Midlands area, so Warrington, in actual fact, probably wouldn't be the nearest area for me. So by looking into East Midlands, I am now in the position of looking at Leicestershire, Northamptonshire, again Leicestershire, etc. We've also got the number of applications here. Now, not all the search engines have the number of applications that um, would be the number of people would be applying for. So you've got some idea, unusually, as to how many people have actually applied for that job. We know that 45 in this particular instance have applied for the position at 15,000 a year, and if we were logged in, the chances are we could actually apply for the job. So, by going to the application, apply for the job, we will probably be asked to log in. And there you go, the logging in option. Now, here again we have the registration. We aren't signed in, we haven't got any details, so let's see if we can actually register and create an account. Creating an account is very important for most people to actually use these search engine systems. So we're going to do that. We're going to set it up in such a way that we can actually get the information. And at that way, hopefully, we're going to hear about all the, the, the jobs that are in the area. Now, it actually asks in this particular instance for the... Uh, information that they want and they're actually asking for the confirmation 
They're actually asking for you to store the cookie and accepting the terms. And they're also asking you for you to upload your CV. So if you've got it in Word, that's how you do it. You'll be clicking on that button and uploading. I'm just going to pause here and put some additional information in. Now I've gone to the next page with the personal details and contact details. For the data protection reason, the fact that this is going online, I'm not going to fill all this information in whilst on the um, screen because there's quite a lot of information here. You may need to consider if you have a disability whether it's worth clicking on this button. Certain buttons here, for example, you might be eligible to get uh, an interview straight off because of that under the Disability Act. So that's worth considering. You've also got the address finder as well. So I'm going to fill this in and then I'm going to restart um, the video up again. I'm working further down the page now and uh, obviously I've submitted details of my address etc. It also gives you the opportunity of allowing other recruiters to view your details um, which may be of some use to you but it also gives you the option of allowing Reed to contact you about other products and services and third parties. Be aware of the potential email levels that you might get. You've got the equal opportunity section there, nationality and birth. The red asterisks indicate that you actually are required to fill that information in. Again, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so there we've got now the next page, which is the preferred section. And I'm going to look at, let's see, we'll go to the charity and voluntary sections. Um, you have an option of putting in a couple of uh, selections on each one, which is good. And you've also got the various subcategories here, um, and that again can be quite useful um, because it can really highlight specifically what you're looking for. But you should also take into consideration that you might have to put additional information in, like a current job title. Um, so what I'm going to look at is um, putting some information in here. As I say, take into consideration the asterisks you actually have to put in two. Um, so again, I'll <laughs> pause the video. Okay, this probably is one of the greatest areas for a lot of people. Personal statement, experience and uh, preference for the role with the skills. Highest academic qualification. Um, this is all basically UK uh, type of questions. It, they would be different in, say, America and other countries. You've got the GCSE and the MVQ, and that, is a hi that highlights really that particular area. So your personal statement is something that you see on the front of a CV. Um, so you would actually expect this information to be um, uh, giving uh, information that you would have on your CV. Um, simple as that. Um, you want to put as much information in there as you can do, but think about the sentences that are going in. So, uh, experience the role several years of working for employers. Seems like a good line of thought, doesn't it? Skills. I dot training. Um, this area again, uh, if you're struggling with it, uh, it's worth actually um, taking a step back and thinking how would, um, which way to go forward. You can always get in contact with the company itself or um, maybe contact ourselves and we can maybe give you some advice in that particular area. So again, I'll pause in the video. Okay, so you've got this particular stage, you know that the registration is complete and we're actually able to now go into the job application section itself. You have the option of entering the CV or browsing and uploading your existing one. You've also got the option of typing in a cover letter and that is a critical letter that's going to be going in front of the employer along with the CV. So again, what we're going to do is put in this letter, type the letter in, maybe take something off uh, in another site that you can submit. You've got the option of checking the spelling, etc. Um, and then you'll be able to hopefully submit it and be successful. 
So again, we'll pause the video and see where we go from there. Okay, so you now can see that the application has been sent. There is a button on the bottom of the um, application form. You can see the details.